Okay, y'all, so I do know that we're supposed to be up on, you know, like the Christmas themes or whatever, whatever, but I don't want to limit myself to doing stuff that are just like seasonal during the season because some people don't celebrate Christmas and some people, they just don't want to do Christmas nails like everybody else because I never really did when I used to get my nails done at the salons and stuff. But anyway, let's get into this video. <laughs> So I printed out some money from my printer. I have an inkjet printer and I found this pink money on Google Safari Network. No, just kidding. But seriously, I found this on Google. And to be honest with you, I was kind of nervous because I didn't have like the glue that I see people like Zule have and I'm dying for that glue. <laughs> but I just went ahead and just used regular nail glue and y'all know that stuff gets everywhere. But this is just me showing y'all how I did it. So it's, for this piece, I didn't cut it before. I cut it after I glued it down, after I got it in the lamp. And then I went ahead and skipped and cut like just the mouthpiece as well. I was just trying to be a little different. I didn't have the back piece of the money. So the person who did make um, the pink money, they didn't put um, what you would normally see on the back of money on there. So I was kind of stuck using the front pieces only, but it still came out how I wanted it to. Now, I do consider this like one of my easier sets, but this was probably like the most difficult part was just getting the pieces to lay down and stay down with normal glue. But I do believe if you have a different type of glue um, that you can kind of like paint over the nail a little bit, I feel like that would be better. Like if you have a glue that you have to um, set on your own. Now, y'all don't really have to watch me struggle through this if y'all don't want to. Um, I'm just showing uh, the people who are beginners, but they just kind of want to try something different. I'm just kind of trying to show them how I got the money on there all the way without scamming y'all and telling y'all that it was easy. So right here, y'all see me going back in and I'm trying to glue down the sides for dear life, y'all. <laughs> I was trying my hardest to get that side glued down and it just wasn't doing what I needed to do. But I wasn't really tripping on these two pieces because the pointer and the ring finger are going to be the geo nails. <laughs> Y'all also, please excuse my heavy breathing. This pregnancy is definitely slowing me down on my voiceovers because I cannot breathe the way I'm used to being able to breathe. I'm breathing for two people now, and I just feel so stuffed. <laughs> Anyways, back into the details. So now that y'all have pretty much seen me glue down most of the money, I'm going to show you how I got the gold flake effect. So because I don't have gold flakes as of now, I do plan on ordering some. I'm just going to go in with some gold polish and just kind of splat it everywhere, put dots of it um, in random places over the nail and just kind of, I don't know, give it the illusion of gold flakes. And please, please, please use gel polish. If you're going to be doing a gel polish nail, use gel polish. Um, if you use fingernail polish, it's going to make it more difficult for you. Also, I had went in with some of my pink glitter that I used to use for my eyeshadow. I mixed that with some um, top coat, and I ended up not really wanting my nails to be the pink, but I did think that it was super, super cute. I just thought it was a bit much for what I was doing. But if you want to add the pink, that's just how I did it. I just threw that in there. Uh, let's take it back. So right here, I just sped the video up, and I'm showing y'all again how I got the gold flake illusion. If you're working with gold flakes, you can um, either mix it with acrylic if you're using acrylic, or you can mix it with... Um, some regular top coat or whatever and it'll help like the um foil stick on the nail so just to give some credit where it's due i saw the geo nail done by portia nailed it on that is her youtube and that is also her instagram um if you know the original person feel free to tag them so just giving a little bit more of a tutorial on this part this gold is not the best. So if you have a gold that's like mine, you kind of want to double layer it or go over it again. Um, and then also on the pinky nail, I have very tiny hands, if y'all haven't noticed. So my pinky is literally the last um, nail that you could choose from. It's literally a size 11. <laughs> 
Sometimes I'll sneak and use a 10 and see if I can get away with it, but usually it's an 11. So just to recap on the hand for the people who are confused, the thumb, the middle, and the pinky finger will just be the clear nails with the money on them and the gold effect. And then the pointer and the ringer will be the ones with the marble effect. So y'all are going to see my second hand be a bit different, but <laughs> right now I'm just focusing on the hand that I was doing for the camera. So that's the sequence that I went in for that. Right there, I was showing you how I mix that color. You really don't have to mix that color. You can just put down pink and then you can marble it um, afterwards. So if you leave it a little bit wet, you can kind of go over it again with different colors and give it a marble effect. And I'll show you how I did that um, after I'm done painting this other finger. Okay, so y'all see those two darker pinks up there? It's like a hot pink and like a magenta pink. Those are what I'm going to use for my darker colors. And you see how I'm just swirling the brush in it and patting and just dropping the color anywhere? I'm just letting it soak into the nail with the rest of the polish. And that's pretty much how I get my marble. I really can't explain it no other way, but y'all can definitely watch for a little while while I shut the hell up. <laughs> And here all I'm doing is putting a top coat over all the nails. After you've top coated all of the marble nails, you want to go ahead and start going in with a thick white line. Not thick, but you get what I mean. Like something vibrant. That way you can make it actually look more of like a marble. And don't really think too hard about where you place it because we still have to do the geode and the crystals and all of that stuff so this nail is gonna go from basic to oh girl who are you and if i'm keeping it real with y'all i completely screwed up on this part so you can do it like this but this is not how i did it on the other nail so i don't even know why i don't know if it's because i was tired last night but yeah scratch that unless you feel like it'll be easier for you well, girl, this is how we really did it, okay? <laughs> so you're going to go in with the gold. And the reason why I would rather go in with the gold first is because I feel like you can actually get your shape with the gold. And then you can fill in the rest after you got your shape. So this is me doing it slow-mo for y'all. Not really slow-mo, but y'all get me in real time. That way y'all can see how long it's probably going to take you. Listen, I don't want a lot of y'all all the time. This stuff takes, uh, I, I want to say this took me like maybe an hour and a half at the most. And that was just for one hand. But the second hand maybe took me 30 minutes. So once you know what you want to do with it, it, the process is much faster. Let's put it like that. Okay, so right here we're going back in with that milky white that y'all saw me accidentally use before I was supposed to use it, which is why one of them is already done. But yeah, we're going to go in with that and we're just going to fill inside the gold and then we're going to pop that in the UV light for like 60 seconds.
So here we're just going to take some molding glue and we're going to give it like a 3D effect to go around where you're going to put the crystals at. So you want that 3D effect to be nice enough for it to look like it's an actual crystal coming out the finger. Do not shortchange yourself on this part, okay? Make sure you can see it as if it's 3D. And I know that y'all can't see it that good in this clip. That's why I'm trying to explain to y'all the best that I can. Because right here, just look, I'm, I'm putting um, clear polish over it and I'm not. On this clip, you should be able to see it a lot better what I'm doing. But also, I wear glasses, so there is a glare in almost everything that I'm looking at. So sometimes um, I can't see stuff that y'all can see perfectly fine. So please give me feedback on my videos and let me know how the lighting is, what you think of the camera work, and things of that nature. Once you are done putting that in the lamp, uh, make sure you put that in the lamp uh, for 120 seconds so that you know it is all the way done. So once you're done um, drying the molding glue, just go back over the molding glue with uh, the gold gel polish. Or if you have a chrome, I swear I feel like that will be 10 times more dope. Um, but I just used what I had. Even if you have like the um, uh, Portia nailed it, she used the, um, what do you call it, the gold flakes. So the gold flakes look way better than what I'm doing. <laughs> this is like the hood version of what she did, okay? <laughs> so just throwing out there like a couple options for y'all. And then after you done doing that, just put it back in the UV lamp for another 120 seconds. I have um, an older sun lamp. So with the sun lamp that's older, you might have to leave it in longer. Please do not take my advice if you have a better lamp than me or a more expensive lamp than me where you can kind of like control the temperatures and stuff like that. Um, you should know your lamp. And if you don't know your lamp, learn it, please, because what I say could be completely different than what you need to do. And this is me just showing y'all what the nail should look like before you start to put the crystals on. And before you put on the crystals, I put a, I put a clear coat of just regular top coat. Um, if y'all want to use like glue or something like that, feel free. I think it will be much better. I just use top coat because it already be by me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then once the top coat is, um, cured, you know, it's going to do right. So this is me again, just showing y'all like a side view of when you put the top coat on after you're done doing that, then you're going to pour the crystals on top and that'll be the last step. And one last thing before I go, if you order from me and you've got the You've Got Nails second sticker, the little tiny one that is transparent, please keep that. Take my advice and keep that because you never know when I'm going to do a raffle for the people or a discount or a free set for somebody who kept that sticker. So please keep that and then also keep it as a collective even if you have won something because I might want to see how long you've been rocking with me, and that might also be another raffle. Here are the finished results, y'all. I am in love with this set. Here's a close-up. It's motherfucking lit. It's motherfucking lit. It's motherfucking lit. It's getting to it, yeah.